technical play. His incredibly precise uh, combos and his propensity for doing things that was, uh, are incredibly difficult to do. Where's Freeman from? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not, I'm not sure. Air. So, Freeman's being from Arizona. I believe Hipster used to live in like Nevada, and now he lives in Indianapolis. So, he, yeah. they're, they were both from the desert, and now Hipster is Midwest. I believe the story is he went to like Boss Battle 2, and he just never went home. He like missed his flight and is like, I guess I live here now, and he's still living there. That's very funny. <laughs> it, it just sounds, sounds like a hipster thing to do. That sounds like hipster, yeah. I like that he's not rushed again. I mean, a lot of in a, in a lot of ways, you can rush down Luigi and kind of force him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, hipster just kind of playing it slow, trying to see what Luigi wants to do. Because honestly, Luigi wins the rush or loses the rushdown game. And honestly, loses the slow game as well. He yeah. is the worst on the tier list for a reason. Not that he doesn't have any tools, but he just gets outclassed in a lot of ways. So we have to see Freeman work really hard to make up for that in all these areas. So we already see here, he's taking the first stock. Okay, so all Hipster has to do is wait, is wait, and then go out. Yeah. Go out with a back air or a forward air or something. All, all he has to do yeah. is kill hit, hit right through the, the fireballs. Yeah. And there's nothing Luigi can do about it. Um, but he's Freeman respecting is, the yeah. fireballs a lot. Yeah, he definitely is. Uh, and and I say all he has to do is that, but it's, it's harder than it's. Yeah. Because uh, we've all been hit by that. Like, oh, I just got to go out and guard. And then you get hit. You get hit by the, the fireball. Then you're getting upbeat into the stage. And then yep. they back air you. Yeah. And that that thought is always in your mind when you when you see them cover themselves with fireball. Yeah. The shine is really good, though. Ooh, there's that, that yeah, forward it, tilt. It forces him to recover low. Yeah. And if he's recovering low, then you can jump off and you can do a back air into the stage. Or you can down tilt him to a new or something, you know. So Hipster taking the lead now, a pretty decent lead, as he's playing fairly safe. He's covering himself with lasers a lot. His aerials are all clean, not missing any Z cancels, anything like that. So he's, uh, he's not to work taking for. any stage control. Though. He's not even trying. He's just living on the edge over there. Yeah. He said, "Come get me." Yeah. I have a gun. <laughs> I can make you. All you have is lettuce. <laughs> I like the weight from Freeing. Some, some Luigi's would just be like, I gotta hit him, but that he would have been invincible from that tech, so. Oh, I don't know. I feel like maybe like the weak like reverse up air hit could have worked there, but it still got beat out by the Fire Fox. Jab to grab, not quite a jab grab. It doesn't ring in your ears, that's so nice. <laughs> nice jab to grab, but it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what does Luigi do about this? That's a good question. Uh, evidently that. Yeah. Luigi, in pretty much every matchup, gets most of his stuff started off with down air. And the reason why that is bad is because he's so slow on the ground and his short hop is so bad that it's hard to just straight up approach with down air without it being super telegraphed. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I like the reflectors. It's, it's, that's, that's definitely uh, the best way to counter yeah, Fireballs. as long as you're technical enough to just double shine like that. We saw there the uh, the low angle forward tilt that actually has set knockback. It's really low, so it can yeah. set up for gimps on like something in like the Fox Hitter or against Captain Falcon, where you don't want to hit him super far away or like that middle far away where they're going to be far enough away to make it back, but not close enough to where you can really easily edge guard them. That sets some characters up to just be gimps. It's a it's a fantastic move in Fox Hitters as well. Yeah, yeah. There we have it. Yep. Uh, despite the fact that Hipster was up a stop uh, in the middle of the match there, free and pick it. Because yeah, tech, tech the boxes came in. That's just... Yeah, that's, just yeah, yeah, that's, that's in the script. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, go! Hipster so looking a little bored. Even like after game one, he gave out a yawn. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> he's having much fun for fighting Luigi. Which is a shame, because I think this is a really cool match. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool match, um, despite both of them not seeming very invested. Their buttons are invested, though. They're, they're playing. 
But the, you just don't see it on their oh. faces. Yeah. I actually didn't see any upbeat kills uh, from Luigi last game. Uh, that, I guess because Fox dies uh, out of the cast. He's one of the, the characters that dies the latest off the top. He's a fast faller. He's pretty heavy. That's so true. That's true. The, the main kill tool will be that throw off stage down air type style. Oh, we might see that. Yep. Gets hit by the fireball. Yeah. That's all it takes. Walling him out with back air, such a good move. Yeah. Oh, decent DI. That can be enough. They're playing it slow. Not trying to rush in and get grabbed again. Yeah, I think uh, I think Hipster has figured out. You know, look, I, I don't have to go in until I want to. Yeah, even though you're losing, you do kind of have to go in. Freen is the one that doesn't have to approach. <laughs> That's that shine again. Uh, it's actually really good because I don't think Freen is like prepared for it a lot of the time. Oh, just that's the grounded one too. So it's a little stronger, but not. A oh, he, he just killed himself. Did you think? Do you think he has given up? I don't think he's given up, so to speak. I don't see why he would have upbeat off the top. I don't know. Maybe he slipped. I guess. Maybe he did give up. I don't know. That would be a shame. It would be a shame because he definitely had a shot. He was playing well. Doesn't take a whole lot to beat Luigi. He's flexing his buttons a little bit. Yeah, he, he seems like he's more interested in uh, drilling his movement than he is in, uh, in playing. Finds another KO. He's only down by one stock. Yeah, he, he could pull this out. For sure. And maybe he is just trying to bait Freen and doing some stuff, making it seem like he doesn't care. Playing super passive, not even shooting lasers anymore. That's very strange. There's the lasers. The main zoning tool of the character. Just yeah. I don't, I don't feel like it. Is that down tilt into down air once again? Yeah, he didn't even try to recover. Yeah. This game's winning. It was too little, too late. Freeman's going to take that one too well.